The Honourable Member for Edmonton Centre, followed by Edmonton Calder. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've been watching and waiting to see if the performance of the new energy regulator actually does balance environmental protection and oil development. And in 2012, Plains Midstream had a pipeline spill of crude oil into the Red Deer River and the Glenifer Reservoir. The energy regulator has just ruled that the company didn't inspect the pipeline, didn't follow up on government warnings, and failed to mitigate once the oil started leaking. So one would expect some severe, memorable sanctions, right? No. Does the Ener Environment Minister support the regulator's sanction for Plains Midstream incompetence and repeated breaches of Directive 19. Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, uh, we are aware that the energy regulator has completed their investigation. I can tell you that my department is, is currently finishing our investigation. And, Mr. Speaker, once the investigation is complete, we will be determined if charges need to be laid. Honourable Member. Well, uh, thanks very much to the same Minister. What happened to polluter pays? How is requiring planes mid midstream to develop emergency responses, wow, tough, audit past actions, really tough, and develop resident contact plans, a vigorous sanction? Well, again, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I mean, as I said, Mr. Speaker, the energy regulator has done their due diligence. They came up with their recommendations. I can tell you that my department is now continuing to look at the uh, at the investigation, and we will do the appropriate thing that has been, and that could include prosecution. But at this point in time, it's pre for me, premature for me to say what we're going to do as our investigation is not complete at the department level. Honourable Member. Well, Mr. Minister, either you or the regulator can put those sanctions through. But let me ask if, uh, if the Minister is able to give me three examples. Okay, how about one example uh, of where the regulator put the environment first ahead of industry's interests? Just one example. Well, Mr. Speaker, being as the regulator just started its, uh, to be uh, in, in the process of doing its business in the last eight weeks, I can't give an example at this period of time. 